Good afternoon and welcome to Red May, day number two. Uh, so some of you have already got out there and, and performed your activity today, which is great. So whether you're doing a walk, run, a run, or a ride, uh, most of you had to deal with your first hurdle today if you're in the Lower Mainland or in Pitt Meadows, which is where I'm at, and that is the rain. So if you're not used to running in the rain, you may have just stayed home if it wasn't for this challenge. And I know I saw some people post up on Strava saying, uh, if it wasn't for this thing that I signed up for, I probably would have not run today. So uh, that's great that you guys got out there and did that. I just wanted to uh, have a quick chat about some safety uh, today, and that's our tip. So first off is, uh, before you head out for a run, tell someone where, a run or a ride, tell someone where you're going. Uh, I always like to give my wife the, the rundown of the route that I'm actually going to be doing, how long it's going to take me, so she has a time that she can expect me back and if I'm gonna make a pit stop on the way just to give her that info so she's not worried about me. But worst case scenario, she can come and find me along the route if I'm out of sorts and I've missed my time. So that being said, it's good to carry some ID with you while you're out. Uh, now, most of you are going to have some sort of BC ID or wherever you're from, uh, where you can carry a, a driver's license or a care card. I think they're one and the same now. Uh, but you can also have something like this, which is an ID tag. This is called road ID. I'm not gonna show you my personal ID, but uh, it's a bracelet that you can basically just slip on. And on it, I'll just read what it has on it. It's got my name. So if I'm unconscious and someone finds me, they're gonna know who I am. They're also gonna know where I live, as well as my uh, primary contacts number. So it has my wife's name and number on here, as well as a secondary contact. It has my doctor on here. And then it has any uh, other conditions. So it, for me, it says just no known allergy. So if there is uh, an emergency, then someone knows a little bit about me and uh, how to take care of me. Uh, next up is just to dress to be seen. Uh, so if you see me out running, you'll probably know that I can be a little bit boisterous with my color scheme. So here is a shirt that I would typically run in, something like this, bright green. Now it doesn't have to be green, that's just what I happen to pull out of the cupboard today. These are some sleeves, same idea there. Especially when it's sort of dull and gray outside, or if you're uh, running around at night, especially you want to have something that's high vis. Uh, and along with that, here is a light and it flashes as well. This clips onto your shoes, uh, clips onto your shirt, um, wherever you want to clip it, it'll basically just hang in there. And it's an LED light, so I don't think you'll have to replace the battery at least anytime soon. This is two or three years old for me. Last tip is just to be aware while you're out there on the road that there are cars around and there's people around, and especially with um, what's going on right now with our global pandemic is we're trying to avoid people um, which is good. I mean, that's a little bit of a safety concern, but not really what I want to address is if you are getting out of the way for people that you're being mindful, if you're going out onto the road, that there's no cars there. Um, and if you are running, uh, on the sidewalk, you're relatively safe. You're not going to get hit by a car on the sidewalk, knock on wood. Uh, but if you are running on the road, which direction to run is also important. It's always good to face traffic if you're running on the road. So if you're on the shoulder, uh, and you're trying to just avoid people because there's not a lot of, uh, for me right now, I've been running a lot on uh, just back roads all over the place, forward road detour, uh, just to, to kind of get out of the crowds and, just, and keep that social distance. And with that comes uh, the concern of cars. There's not always a great shoulder, depending on where you're running uh, or riding, just making sure that you're facing the right direction. So if you're riding, you're usually gonna be going with traffic if you're running, I recommend facing traffic. Just in case you do see someone, you can move out of the way versus someone coming up behind you. You can't always be aware of that. So that's our tip for today. Uh, if you guys have any questions about Strava, I'm going to do a 101 session for our Envision Fitness members. That's gonna be on our private Facebook group. It's gonna be a Zoom call, so I'm gonna go live through uh, some troubleshooting with people's problems. And then I'm going to probably post it up in our Facebook fan page for everyone to uh, kind of get uh, schooled on some Strava. Not that I know everything, but I know a little bit. I've been on the platform for a few years and I've played around with uh, the club features and manual activity and all that kind of stuff. So if you uh, have some questions about getting started, it'd be a great opportunity to jump in. Hope to see you guys there.